didn't get it. Oh. All right guys, welcome to another video. My name is CJ with The Hookup Tackle. I'm out here with my boy Jeff, and we are gonna be fishing around uh, marina slips and docks today. So I got three under the radar baits that you guys may have heard of, may have not heard of. Some of them are new to the shop, some of them might be brand new to you guys. We're gonna be fishing around the docks today, trying to catch some fish, and uh, ideally you want a sunny day. Today, uh, when we woke up, we realized that it was gonna be cloudy, so we're gonna have to adapt a little bit. The clouds are gonna cause the fish to roam around a little bit, which might get us some more bites, might not. We'll just have to adapt to the conditions and see. But typically you want a nice sunny day to limit those shadowy parts underneath the slips to where those fish are gonna to wanna to congregate to um, and to ambush on bait fish. So Jeff and I are out here today. We're gonna to see if we can get bit on these three under the radar baits and have ourselves a day. Stay tuned. Okay, so like I said, I have three baits with me today. I chose these three baits because, well one, the bait, or sorry, I chose these three baits because the fish are on uh, bait fish right now. They're on shad and bluegill. Typically around these docks, you're gonna find a lot of bluegill. And in this transitional period where we're coming out of from summer to fall, the shad are gonna be coming out from deeper water. They're gonna be using like these big cliff areas right here as highways. And they're gonna push into the marinas as a stopping point to go up into the shallow water and the bass are gonna follow them. So I chose all three of these baits to mimic that there. And they're also really good at skipping, right? When you're around this kind of stuff, it's important to get the bait back into the spot where the fish are to give it the best presentation, to give yourself the best chance of catching the fish. So all three of these baits are really good at skipping. They give a nice presentation to it. I like to go with a two-step approach. I like to have baits that fish quick and baits that fish slow. So like this guy right here, this is the Raid Full Swing Swim Bait. It's a four inch. I have it line, uh, rigged as a line through. This is a great bait for skipping way back in the pocket, reeling it nice and slow. It's gonna stay relatively towards the top and it's just gonna soak up there and give it a really nice natural presentation. I also have a soft body frog with me as well. This is a newer one to the shop. This one's pretty cool. This one's called the Basarinski by Depths. It's a crawling frog, which is unique. It's very rare to find a frog that has this kind of action, but the body's really soft and the weight is super far back on the, on the bait. So it allows me to skip it with ease and get it all the way back into the pocket. And then this is again, one of those slower moving baits. So when I get it back there, I'll just let it crawl nice and slow or speed it up if I need to. And then lastly, I have, you guys probably know this one, last bait, which is pretty new still is the Teckle Blade Waker. This is a cool hybrid bladed jig, I guess you could say. It acts as almost like a buzz bait, but also can be used as a chatter bait. And this is gonna be my faster moving bait for getting that reaction strike if, it, if they're not wanting something slow. If they wanna ambush something quick, this is something that I can still skip back there. It's got a light weed guard and I can burn it through the pocket back there and get some bites. It's, this bait's cool because I can wake it up towards the top or I can reel it like a, like a chatter bait and I can keep it maybe two or three feet under where they have more confidence to eat the bait. So those are my three baits that I have on the deck right now. We're gonna move in and out of these slips and just work every little pocket, fishing nice and thorough and see if we can get a bit. Let's do it, Jeff. I'm gonna start with the Raid full swing here. Again, I got it rigged up as a line through. You can also throw it on like an EWG screw lock or just a normal EWG hook, jig head, however you wanna rig it. I just have it line through today because I think they'll get it better. And uh, we're just gonna work these pockets here. Right here, Jeff, we're gonna get bit right here. That was a decent fish now. Yeah, it was like two pounder. Oh, and the camera looks like a <laughs> oh. oh, Jeff, I just got rolled on. As soon as it hit the water, you rolled on it. Oh, I got it, I got him. That's a good one, Jeff. There we go. Dude, as soon as it hit the water. <laughs> Did I not call that right there? Look at that. Bait right there in the face. That's the Raid full swing four inch right there. Little red treble, have it rigged up as a line through. First fish of the day. Decent little Bartlett fish right there. That's pretty average for this lake. Uh, we're gonna let him go because I've had him out for a minute, but thank you, buddy. Super dark resident fish, that's sick. Thank you, buddy. That was a fun fight. Whew, pissed off. All right, again, here's the bait. That's, again, that's the Raid full swing four inch paddle tail. I'm pretty new to this bait. It's pretty new to the shop. We just got it in a little bit ago and I'm really impressed. We've been fishing with it for a couple of weeks now. And uh, I've noticed just skipping along these docks, it skips really, really well. It's got a nice head wobble to it. Uh, it's got a good tail kick. Earlier when we fished this because of the design and that rib design on there, I knew it was gonna be a really good bait for skipping. That's why I have it out here today. I have it rigged as a line through. So I have an owner ST36, I believe is what this is. Uh, size two, it's just a red treble. 
a cloudy day like this, it'll give them something to key in on. And then with that, to give it that line through action, I have a Valley Hill trebling through pipe. And this is a pretty cool little accessory here. It's like a spiked pipe that you run through the nose of the bait out the belly. And that gives you an insert to run your line through to line it as like a line through without tearing your bait. So uh, if you're throwing anything like this where you're gonna run it as a line through, I highly recommend having something like this so you just don't rip up your baits. But that's what that fish ate there, first fish of the day. We're gonna catch another one. Come on. Oh, come here, baby. She's feisty. <laughs> Did you see that, dude? <laughs> that was intense. Oh my gosh. Same bait, same spot. Back to back cast. Dude, <laughs> got his brother back in there. Back to back cast, same bait, same spot, everything. Bit that full swing. Hell yeah, let's let her go. Doop. That's his, this is where I stand. Right here. <gasps> dude, how did he not get it? He folded it again. You see him shoot out for it? Dude, he's fired up. Did you see the fish? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. That was sick. There we go. Come here, baby. Here we go. All right. Just like that. Dude, look at that hump on his head. What? <laughs> look at that lump on his head. Fish number three on the full swing. Looks like a peacock, doesn't he? Look at that. Oh, sorry, buddy. Ooh, it's soft. Ugh. All right, fish number three on the day. Thank you, buddy. There you go. Boop. She gone. That was sick. Tight little spot, too. I'm gonna throw this one bait in this other little side of it, just because it's kind of tight for me to get anything else in. And then I'm gonna switch over to the Basariski, and we're gonna go ham. This is the Basariski, this is Jackass. That's how you catch a bass right here. Eat it. <laughs> I almost did it. <laughs> the bass are risky. How do you not get it? <laughs> that almost worked. <laughs> Be back there. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Is he on it? He's on it, Jeff. Did you feel him? Oh, oh my God. Drag. Oh, oh, he's wrapped. Oh, God. There's a big one with him, dude. Oh, oh. let's go. Dude, there's a big fish with him. First fish on the Basariski. It's a good little skipping frog. Single hook on there. Nice lifelike imitation. Trick that guy right there. First fish on it. Skip it around some more, see if we can get another fish. And he was pinned so good. There we go. Fourth fish of the day, fifth fish somewhere in there. We got two of the three baits checked off. I'm gonna see if I can catch maybe one or two more on this guy. Then we're gonna try out the blade waker and see what else we can do. Sick, Jeff, there we go. That was cool. Uh. Okay, so this is the Basariski. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Spot lock is here. Spot lock is here. Spot lock is here. There it goes. <laughs> so it's like, a, it's like a little crawling frog. So if you're familiar with the crawler, they have the two wings that come off the side. If you're familiar with the frog, it's got the frog body. Typically a frog, has a body like that. It's got a silicone skirt that comes off the back. This one here has two little legs that come off. It's a really soft frog. So at first, when I was using this frog, I was afraid of that single hook, but it's so soft that that single hook has no problems coming through there. And these are nice and flexible too. So if a fish comes up to try and get it, it's gonna collapse those in and it'll get the hook. So cool little color. I like that transparent color. You don't see that a whole lot in frogs. That tricked the fish there. Let's see if we can get another one, Jeff. Oh, there's a fucking tree right there tree. just like that oh there it is blade waker fish in the face dude that was like my second or third cast with it uh, dude look how he was hooked look at this <laughs> on the outside in nice we like that dude that means that they're getting it good Tackle Blade Waker right there. Huh, works for me.
push it right over that little branch there and Buddy ate it. That was kind of cool. <laughs> He's kind of hefty. All right, thanks buddy. So this is a cool chatterbait that's pretty new to the market. Um, bladed jig, blade waker. It's designed to wake up on the top of the surface. Or we use is like a bladed jig. It's got a very unique 90 degree, 45 degree, I'd say it's like 45 degree bent blade there. And it stays up top like this. And it just kind of wakes on the surface like that. Or you can get it down lower and it acts as great, uh, great deflection off of cover like that there. And puts fish in the boat. There we go. Lefty? I didn't know you had it in you, Mike. That was sick. <sighs> there he is. Oh, there we go. That's a good one, huh? Okay, there we go. Second Blade Waker fish in the day is a chunky one. Not a bad fish. Definitely a fish out of the marina. This thing is beat up, man. Look at that thing. He's, he's seen some days. That's an old fish. Yeah. Little left-handed pitch into the slip there. Flew out for it. Ah, right there in the corner of the mouth. It's a good fish. A little two-pound fish there. Not bad. Good fish out here at Bartlett. So the lake known for smaller fish, and that one... Uh, is a little bit better. See if we can catch a couple more. That's a beauty. <laughs> Fish is just all head, dude. All right, sick. Give you guys another look at that bait there. I know I talked about it a little bit before, but there's another look. I got a four inch doe live shad. Has a trailer on the back there. It's got a wide body to it. So when I'm skipping it, it allows it to keep the bait up a little higher and skip a little bit better. <sighs> another one bites of dust. Oh no, he's got me wrapped, Jeff. Oh, he's, dude, it's a good fish too. Holy shit. Trolling motor, come on. Oh, he's out. Oh, I don't know how he didn't come off there, Jeff. Oh. Oh, that's a chunker, huh? <laughs> Let's go. I told you there's gonna be one. Off the bush. Dude, he got me so wrapped in that. He's still recording. Dude, chunky right there. Blade Waker. Jeff's like, you think there's one off that little bush right there? Like there's one bush, like piece of grass that's hanging off of that little dock right there. And there he was. That's a healthy fish, man. Oh, he had me so wrapped up in that framing in there. I don't know how he didn't get off or break me off. It's a chunky Bartlett fish right there. That's every bit of two and a half, maybe, maybe high twos there. Maybe three. I don't know. He's pretty chunky. He's got a belly on him. Look at that thing. Another fish on the blade waker right there, ladies and gents, let him go. Whew, that was intense. Look how fat that fish is. It looks like a saguaro fish. Doesn't get better than that. Gotta tip my guide over here. Hey, throw over there towards that little bush right there. It looks like there could be a fish there. Oh, I'm bent, I'm bent. He's in the frame, he's in the frame. Get him out. That was intense. Step off a wave. I just don't, oh, that. <gasps> Right here, right here, right here. That's... He's on it, dude, he's on it. Oh, my God. oh my God, Jeff. Dude, were you recording that? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> what just happened, dude? What just Jeff. Jeff, that was insane. I hope, I don't know if you guys saw that on camera or not, but I had the bass risky flying out from underneath the houseboat. And Jeff and I at the same time noticed this fish hot on it. Let me get this braid off of it. Oh no, he's all tangled up. I don't even know what to do, I'm shaking. That wasn't crazy. This guy was hot on it. He goes underneath the boat, he's looking for the Basariski. I swing out left and come right, and he just smokes it from behind. I flipped him in. Dude, that was insane. I don't think I've ever caught a fish on a Dude, frog that was like eight that. Eight trap frog. Dude, eight trap frog. Got through two loop or one whole loop. Dude, you're way too fired up to be. That dude was jazzed. You're in the wrong lake, my friend. You need to go somewhere <laughs> way cooler because you do not belong here. Thank you, buddy. Holy oh, cow. Shit. Dude, the Basariski. That was intense. <laughs> Dude, what just happened? A Q U E? Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. A little squeaker. Yes. Yes. yes, 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 yes. That was technical. Pitched up in between that like jet ski docking area and that pontoon. Little guy came and slurped it. Boing. Another fish. Oh, damn. Oh, he's jumping against it. Oh, come here. Get over here into the wind. Into the wind. Ooh. 
What are you doing, buddy? Eat those just as good. Another quality little fish. Watch me. That was cool. Dude, that's a good one. It's a good one. Dude, it's a good one. He's coming at you, Jeff. Oh my God, dude, he's, it's a big one. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> dude, I think he was that big. <laughs> yes. Dude, crushed it. Look how he ate that. Yeah. Oh my that God. That one's gone. <laughs> that one's gone. Dude, right that's here. So that's sweet. a good one. That's a Bartlett giant. Yeah, that's. That's the biggest Bartlett bass. Dude, biggest. I don't know. How much do you think he is? That's a four. Easily a four. <sighs> Probably our last fish of the day there, and it's an absolute beauty on the full swing right there by Raid. Man, I really like that swim bait, Jeff. It gets <laughs> bit right there. All right, let's let her go, and we'll wrap this video up. That's a beauty. Look how thick that fish is. Wow. <laughs> there she goes, back down to the depths. Alrighty folks, we're gonna end it off right there on a good one. I did not expect to catch a fish that big today. I mean, this lake isn't known for big fish and that was a pretty solid fish for this lake in a pretty technical manner too. Like that was sick. Uh, that fish came on the full swing. This is a four inch swim bait by Raid. It's a new bait to the shop, new to us. Still learning it, but I'm really impressed with its performance. Got a great head wobble to it. Good tail kick. Um, skips really well because of that ribbed body. The plastic is pretty durable too. So when you're sniffing, when you're skipping around this stuff, it withstands it and it's plenty strong. I have it rigged with the line through with that trebling through insert there. And then a uh, ST36 red treble there for, to give them something to key in on. I have that paired up with Megabass Triza. And then I have the Daiwa Zillion SVTW as a real choice. Great reel for skipping. It's low profile, easy to make quick roll casts. It's a great bait or great reel for that. Other setup that I had that I caught, what, three fish on today, I believe, was the Tekel Blade Waker. And again, that's like a, it's like a buzz bait, chatter bait hybrid. It's got this very unique blade on there to give it a couple different actions. Have a doe live shad on the back there. They're crushing that. Got probably our, two of our other better fish other than that last one on that there. Got a Shimano Metanium DC on this guy here. And the rod of choice is the new depth sidewinder boa constrictor. So it's a new rod, I was feeling it out. Uh, it's a longer rod. Usually I prefer shorter rods, but it's got a pretty quick action to it. It bends pretty deep through the backbone, but it's got, a, it's got a fast tip on there. So it was nice to be able to load up the rod to be able to skip this thing, but still have the tip to bounce back and hit those fish. So pretty good rod, pretty good setup for that. Lastly, <laughs> one of the funnest baits to throw today, the Depths Basser, what is it? The Depths Basser, Basser Risky, man, say that 10 times. The Depths Basser Risky. A little walking, crawling frog there. Pretty unique action to it. I like this color, honestly. I think it looks just like a little shad. So as far as shad frogs go, it looks pretty good. It's got a nice little crawling action to it. Skips really well because that weight is pretty far back in the bait. So I noticed if you try to force it, if you try to force it in there, a lot of times it didn't skip right. But if you just kind of babied it and just let the rod load up and use the rod to skip the bait, it skipped really nice. So. They definitely ate that today. Got a cool eat. Got a little eight trap bass at the end of the day with that bait there. It was absolutely insane. So paired up with the Bass Arinsky is the Zillion TW HD. This is the 1000. Low profile reel, but plenty of winching capabilities on there. Big handle, big knobs. So when you're fishing like a frog and you're getting into this nasty stuff and they eat it, you have plenty of leverage to power them out of there. Uh, as far as rods go, I have the Seas AGS by Daiwa. This is the Power Pitch. It's got a soft tip on it, but a really stout backbone. This is a light frog, so I didn't want to go with something that's like a true frog rod because I thought it would overpower this bait. So this that this rod that has a softer tip is able to let me skip it back there, but still have plenty of backbone to winch those fish out. So those are the three setups that I threw today. Guys, if, if you haven't heard about these, definitely check them out. We'll have them linked down below. In my opinion, these are three under the radar baits that you might not have thought about to fish around these docks. And as you can see, they, they work for us. So give them a look, check them out down below. Jeff will have everything linked, but today was a great day. And uh, thanks for tuning in guys. We'll catch you another video.